Hey guys, it's that time again. It's time to jump back into some of the map changes on the world of Fortnite. And we have a few to discuss and go over with the storyline, etc. Let's get into this because I've got a lot of details and stuff that I want to go over on this lovely sunset day inside of the Fortnite Battle Royale universe. If you guys are new around here though, do smash that subscribe. We're getting so close to 600,000. And don't forget to go and support me in the item shop with code postboxpat. Here are a few shouts popping up on screen for those doing that. And now let's get straight into this and get into the map changes. So in today's video, we've actually got a few different discussion points to go over regarding map changes and the future of this week's Fortnite storyline and upcoming map changes as well. So to start with, we'll start off over at Stark Industries and we've had a development on the Battle Bus. So it's officially confirmed and if you pop in the game you can see that the battle bus itself has now been upgraded and this is ready to go and it is here so this is stark's plan that we've seen and we'll go over his plan in a second and this battle bus is completely complete inside of the actual hangar area which doesn't render in if you're not in the area so you've got to be in the area to check it out and replay by the way we've also got a bunch of battle buses lined up out here maybe he's going to be experimenting on these which is really cool i don't know why the frames keep dropping in replay but it just keeps happening and you can see here on the right another battle bus here which he's developing or testing on as well so this battle bus is the one that he's complete so the battle bus is going to be a part of the upcoming story now what's really cool about this battle bus is it has a few different features on which we've never seen before it's got a giant type exhaust on the top i'm assuming this is some sort of reactor power core type thing as well as a few different things like boosts and stuff now it's almost guaranteed that this is going to be part of the event we can assume the battle bus is going to have something to do with the event and it's probably going to transform into some sort of giant iron man robot maybe to defeat the uh i guess galactus i'm guessing or maybe it'll have something to do with some sort of like contraption where all the battle buses are going to fly together to defeat the robot as if like they were a spaceship i think that would be pretty cool that's my kind of prediction of what's going on with this sort of stuff but we do have stark's little plan which i want to go over in a second and show you guys what exactly is going on with that but before we jump into all the details on stark's plan let's go over the upcoming map change which is actually going to be situated in between stark industries here retail row over here and lazy light around the position i'm flying over right now is where it's going to be positioned and this is going to be the heli carrier moving over to the map or even a second heli carrier so this is going to be the position of it so you can see a few different leaked photos of it here coming in from mango i really do like these and this is most likely where that heli carrier is going to actually position itself now what's really interesting about this is there's going to be a boss up here and the boss itself we're not confirmed we don't know who it's going to be at all some people saying nick fury some people saying she hulk some people saying Venom. Them. we don't exactly know who we're going to get in that big ship but it's going to be interesting to see how high it's going to be above the ground now i'm assuming it'll be at a reasonable height probably about where i am right now or maybe a little bit higher because you're going to need to get access to this from the actual funnels which are on the side of the fans that actually suck you into the ship or up the ship so you can get onto it and off it so that's what's probably going to happen the boss is going to be pretty awesome up there as well and there is going to be a vault on there as well so all this is going to work quite nicely with the game so i'm really really excited for that sort stuff now if we head back over to stark industries we do have iron man's plans for some reason i don't know if i'm completely mistaken or wrong here but usually his plans spawn in this corner inside of his office they're not rendering in for this purpose but i'll get a screenshot up of them right now so here you can see a screenshot of his plans and you can see by looking at these plans we do have a few different theories of what's going on the main one that i want to point out is the little kind of suction device on the right side this kind of device either resembles reversing a black hole type theory or even traveling to another dimension or connection universe now there's a huge big theory on this which i'm going to put up on screen in a second but i just want to analyze and break down this a little bit further in a bit more detail just to confirm everything's going all right you can see that we have the black hole region theory here which is possibly what's going on here regarding to the singularity which is crazy crazy stuff or in my opinion we have this theory which i think this is the case with this one where it's the black hole and white hole so this is an einstein theory which connects two bridges together from different regions of the universe and in my opinion i do think this is related to iron man trying to connect back to his original marvel universe that's what i think i don't think it's anything to do with chapter one and chapter two however this theory which is going around here which i want to put on screen thank you to matt again for bringing this to our attention we can see here we have this theory here now if you look at this there's a lot of stuff going on with this and i want to break this down a little bit you can see we've got the fortnite season one or chapter one map should i say up there at the top left and the chapter two map Donald must have tweeted that everything is all connected. Pay attention. The story is about to kick into overdrive. So is this possible? Yeah, it is. It is possible. But I don't personally think 
this is my this isn't what I agree with but I want to cover it because I want to know what you guys think so then we have a connection of series stuff obviously we're linking two things together which is Nexus we have Nexus War but I think generally that is more the Marvel type thing linking with the Fortnite universe and not the chapter on map we'll explore some more about the chapter on map in a second then we even have potentially the black hole being indicated in Iron Man's drawing but why would Iron Man know about the black hole he wouldn't because he's come from the Marvel universe he wouldn't have a clue about it so that's what again is another lead question in my head we also have the nexus orb which possibly uh, galactus is going to use and he does consume planets as well and he also comes up with the theory here of possible two playable maps so a lot of different stuff actually being talked about in this shot here and stuff that i'm excited for but I'm not 100% certain if that is going to be the case in this world of Fortnite. Now, if we just generally think about it and talk a little bit about it, if we were to go back to the chapter one map, let's just think about that. Everything would have to revert back to its original state. And what stage would the chapter one map be at? People would miss the chapter two map. It'd be a really big shame to say goodbye to the chapter two map so quickly. So what would Fortnite do to resolve this? Well, my general theory and question on that would be they could have two maps. But then again, that would split the audience and how would map changes work? How would the world of Fortnite develop if they have to develop two maps, which would be a lot of work to change every other week. So I don't think they would do that. They would probably keep the chapter one map for a future thing, or even have it as like a weekly event where Iron Man takes us to it. Then we get another event, which takes us back to the chapter two map. And it causes all sorts of crazy stuff in the community of kind of like a throwback memory. But then again, that would probably cause a lot of uh, toxic people in the community to be like, why have we got the map back for one week and no, not much longer? So yes, some interesting stuff. I love that when it's like this kind of like orange glow on the map, it really gives them autumn vibes, really wintry, Halloween-y stuff. So I'm really liking it, but you know, it is what it is with this sort of stuff. And will we ever get the chapter one map back? Yes. Do I think it's going to be very soon? No. I think we're still settling into this map. We're only on season four. You've got to think about it, guys. We're only on season four. I don't see us getting back a new map or even a new chapter until at least season X plus again. The seasons have been going pretty quickly. I know this season was a little bit longer and it still is going, but that's because there's a lot going on and it's a huge collaboration. There's going to be more map changes to happen and so much more is going to get developed as we do continue to travel around the world of Fortnite. So just generally, guys, keep your eyes peeled for it all there is a lot going on and some stuff that we should always be aware of and keeping covered in the community so everybody knows what is going on in that world of fortnite we also have this shopping center over here which is still under development and has yet to have too many changes to it but we can assume this is probably going to get some development to it in the next coming update regarding map changes for those wondering on that side and if you happen to have missed it in my previous map change video we did also cover the map changes over at the rocket league outpost this again won't actually show up in the replay i don't think no it won't i don't think you're gonna have to actually land oh it does a little bit yeah it does show up in the replay so yeah the rocket league stuff is over here i have covered that already in a previous map change video if you're interested in checking it out come and land over here this is where it's located anyway that's gonna be it for today's video thank you so much for watching guys smash that like smash that subscribe hope to see you guys in future content and once again this is postbox pat signing out